You know what? I think I'm going to go for CR4. <laughs> <laughs> I know I said it wouldn't. I think this is the the proper proper solution here to go for Sierra Four. Con Helm, steady course. It's just so quiet out here. It's gonna be tricky to close on Sierra Three. I will lose them if I go above that layer. That's an option, though. Make turns for seven knots. Maneuvering eye. Donnie Darko, hello. Still under 10 on passive launch. No, I got these crappy Mark 37s. I want to get really close into these guys. Do it surgical. Oh, we're in them boofles. On Sierra 4 there. Lovely. Ah, I wanted to go to 15. Son of a bitch. Make turns for zero. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering on. Rig shift for ultra quiet. Make turns for one zero knots. Maneuvering on. I do have 40. Uh, I don't have 45s. I'm actually out of 45s, but I'm not going to use 45s on, on diesel boats here. Make turns for one. I'm gonna stick with 37s. I mean, when I, if when I launch on Sierra 4, I could probably launch on Sierra 3 and likely get a hit. But we'll uh, we'll we'll judge that when we get closer in here. Sixty-nine, dude. <laughs> All right, let's uh, see if we can't hear. I just want to see if I can't hear Sierra Three real quickly here. Rig shift for ultra quiet. Make turns for three knots. Maneuvering eye. See you in a bit, gamers tonight. Excuse me. Wonder if Sierra Three will race to the datum to investigate. Now, uh, mm. regained contact on. Sierra That's a good question. Three, we'll figure that two. out. Mark 37s are pretty quiet. Maybe when they go active. Con maneuvering. Well, turns for not when they go active. When they go knots. terminal speed, CR3 might hear them, but I'm going to bet CR3 will not hear the torps until that point, if they do. But, uh, yeah, we can just move on in on CR3 at that point. Okay, well, we have reacquired CR3. Will we hold Sierra 3 if we go to Make standard? Four, I think one, so. Five knots, maneuvering eye. If we don't, it's not a big deal. Con maneuvering. Oh, just, just four, barely. One, five knots. I was gonna hear me. Make turns for one zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Make turns for one two knots. Maneuvering eye. Not a great situation either way we cut it, but I think we got a a workable Come solution right here. Two six five helm eye. 
Oh, we're in Sierra 3's baffle is lovely. Turn just enough to starboard. I think we'll come out of those baffles here somewhat soon. Yeah, there you go. Just on the edge of glory there. Come left to two, three, nine, helm I. Come right to two, seven, three, helm I. Come right to three, zero, six, helm I. Come left to two, six, seven, helm I. <laughs> this is uh, interesting. <laughs> I'm trying to get to 1500 yards or so here. Yeah, this is probably good. Come right to 274 Helm I. Make turns for. I know what. Belay, belay that order. Come left. Shit on the stamp. Two, Starboard six, tubes. Two, helm I. I want to be good enough with the small diesel boats. <laughs> One whiskey that won't age well. <laughs> oh, Tychosis, hello. <laughs> trying to do lineups and fall up. Penetrating shot. Con, the hell's no, a penetrating shot? <laughs> oh, we have moved outside of my initial... initial... marks here. That has not happened in a... a good while. Alright, let's uh we're gonna go with the old one torp. Shoot two three. Aye, sir. Can I grab that activation point? Goodness gracious. Park where your bullets go through more than one dude doing more damage to the targets behind. That may be another game. I don't recall that happening enough in Fallout. <laughs> where people are lined up behind each other. Maybe more in vaults. I don't know. It could be a perk. Does not sound like one I've gotten. Now oh, there they are. There they are, dude. I would normally say let's not waste time, let's turn the torpedo on, but I want to wait till we get pretty close. Keep CR3 from hearing it. Was not intending for this mission to take so long. <laughs> Should have stuck with my gut earlier on when they were staggered like this. I was like, should have gone with the far guy. Penetrator lets you do damage to an enemy behind cover. Giggity. Can these circle search with the wire breaks? Uh, that may not be a bad idea. Actually, no, I don't think they can circle search. Oh, no, they can. Yeah, we'll make it circle search in case the wire breaks here. I don't anticipate it will, but I never know. Oh, we we're getting perilously close to the edge of his baffles there. I don't know about perilous, perilously. We're pretty close.
Range. 500 yards. 400 yards. 300 yards. Now, Lieutenant, the sound you just heard was not the torpedo exploding. You heard it hit the hull. And I was never here. Con, helm, steady course. Con, fire control, weapon. Contact fire. Dallas, get the DSRV moving. Not really not sure if you want a, a weapon going circle search on a wire break. <laughs> no, probably not. Some of us releases new hit perilous waters. No, it's perilous fluids. It's perilous fluids, damn it. Okay, I don't think CR3 is or anything. The one thing these torps got is that they're quiet. They're quiet electric torps. All right. Last bearing two seven. Come right to three three eight. Helm I. Oh, Sarah three seems like you heard that. Oh, let's Rick see. He's slowing down. <laughs> I have no regrets. Okay, we may, we may have slowed down more than we need to. <laughs> One of us. Oh, sorry. Bang the desk. It says he's slowing down, but he's not. Con helm, steady course. Come right to three, five, eight, helm. Make turns for seven knots, maneuvering eye. Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. JK, hello. I'm pretty close to Friday drunk. <laughs> On an empty stomach here. Con helm, steady course. Oh, he's coming right this way. Come right to zero. Do some two, of that. Seven. Helm I. Con helm. Steady course. Interesting. He's not coming from where CR4 blew up. He's coming from like where I was when I launched ish. Just interesting how the, the game keeps track of the, the bearings or whatnot. Come right to zero four four helm I. I was like, why is he closing? It's because we're only going in seven knots. I'm trying to end around on him here. Make turns for six. Knots, maneuvering eye. Make turns for five knots. Rig ship for ultra quiet.
Come right to two nine three Helm I. That sound level is oddly, oddly bouncing around a lot. More than Helm, I'd expect. Oh, we're close. Oh, that mother clucker. He picked me up. All right. Shoot two one con sonar launch transient from Sierra three. Oh, mm, oh, not not that close actually. Con Sorry. Sonar, we are cavitating. Have those turn on much sooner. I'll just turn on now. Screw it. <laughs> Dangerous waters in 1080. It would be all right. <laughs> something I need to uh, maybe get some attention to is something called like uh, redraw. Hold on one second. Let me alt tap and take a look at this. Reshade. You can apply like some like shadings and stuff to dangerous waters to make it look a little nicer, but it just kind of makes it hazy. Like it makes it seem like you're like. South Kakalaki in summer. So, I don't know. It's interesting, but... I don't think it would look too much better at 10 <laughs> Con, dive at 9, zero, zero feet, dive by. Oh, this Mark 37 should lock the CR3 up any second now. Come left to yeah, there you go. One, six, helm I. That should be Coitons for the the whiskey Eight, there. I think what we have at current time will be the last realistic sims. Oh, we got Modern Naval Nine, Warfare coming, don't forget Making about that. One, five, not. Con, helm, steady course. But it is interesting there seem to be more of those in the past. You always gotta be very careful looking at the past. Very susceptible Con, to the rose-tinted rose glasses Three phenomenon, but... I guess in the past people made more video games out of like passion. These days with companies, it's all about profit, profit, make sure the company survives, kind of thing. But again, that's just like very loose generalizations from what I've learned about it. Someone else was working on something a few years back, weren't they? I don't know what that was. I don't know if it was meant to be commercial. Because sometime after I put that video up on my channel showing that Facebook stuff that Mr. Donnie here in chat sent to me, they got rid of all that Facebook stuff at that point, so I don't think it was ever meant to be a game. Kaboom!
I thought the Silent stuff was curious. I don't know if I ever bought into it per se. Just thought it was curious. It's hard to remember. It was such a long time ago now. <laughs> when were those videos published? Was that like 2017, 2018? I have an interesting story with Sunless that one day I hope I'll be able to share. But, uh... Not now. Alright, let's uh, wait for these torpedoes to get the heck out of here. Come right to two, we can move on seven, to the next five, mission. Helm I. Depending if it's a quick one or not. Getting a little hungry here. I refuse to believe this game is six years old. I refuse to acknowledge that. I mean, I can, like, think back in my head and be like, okay, when this game first came out, that was, like, four house addresses ago, five house addresses ago, maybe, for me. But, uh, it still does not compute that this is six years old. Over six years old. Very strong duct equals how much plus or minus. I think the combination of very strong duct and very strong layer can give you like plus 20 or plus 24 db. Or rather when you go beneath that point you lose like 24 db on surface tracks you held. Something like that. But I hate how there's no, like no hard shadow zones in this game, it's only ever just like a minus db. Like when you're approaching the surface group and there's a layer you should not be. Both of you should not be able to hear each other at like a few miles out. Yeah, I couldn't tell you the last time I saw very strong. I mean, it's like, it's like weak. Is there even like a medium duct? It might be like weak, medium, strong, very strong. It's all like, I think like plus five, plus two. Something, I don't know. I'd have to look at the numbers. They're in the text files. Text files somewhere. Leave combat. Well, hey, ho, hey, fine work dealing with those fox of whiskeys or whatever. Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, moderate? Yeah, there you go, moderate. DW is old enough to retire early. I don't even know if it's retiring early at this point. <laughs> Even then, the goat herders came out on top. It's uh, it's hard to compare, yeah, like a an occupying force to like someone who's like defending their turf, or like an army that was at one point set up to be like a peer army. It'll it'll be a weird time in history, the the peace dividend end of the Soviet Union time back when we thought uh, all war was over or whatever. <laughs> No, that's fine to talk about, JK. That is fine to talk about. Okay. Hey, look at that, a stoigen. Red subs overestimated? That's probably like the third time we've seen that headline. Remnants of an remnants of an enemy landing force are attempting to withdraw after being badly mauled. Oh, interesting. Fighters. Let's do it. We're gonna do this. Hell yeah. I need to try out this surf anti-surface action. Blue 43, locate and sink enemy amphibious landing ships. Status report. The Mark 16's loaded up there. We'll just do two for now. Oh, well, yeah, DW did it on purpose, I think. <laughs> How easy it is to hear. I mean, not I think, they definitely did it on purpose. Make it easy to hear stuff, so it's not a frustration fest. If you want to get a sense of, like, what I think real-life transmission is more like, try and edit a mission you like to have a mud bottom type, or sand, which, whichever's the worst, and assuming it's like a bottom-limited mission, 
The detection ranges are ungodly close, so I think that's a better <laughs> a better way to envisage what real detection ranges should be like. Moderate duct, weak layer. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're about to move out here. Yeah, no one no one actually does want a realistic <laughs> submarine warfare game. From what So the only deduction that we can make from the amount of subs that have collided at sea is that when subs are going like five knots or less, they really don't hear each other unless they're like virtually on top of each other. That would be like mind like ripping hair out mind numbingly boring trying to find another sub in some ocean box with that kind of that kind of reality. Subs cannot collide with each other if they hear each other. Generally speaking, if they're going to collide with each other, they can't hear each other. So it gives you a sense of like how how quiet subs are. What are we doing? Blue 43. Wait, can I get some more details? Where are they coming from? <laughs> I know I just read this. Off the southern coast of Norway. Oh, so they're coming up this way, huh? So I just need to hang out like right here. That's not them. Oh, let me save. Oh, there they are. Uh, let's see if we can. not Oh, that sub. Oh, I want to try and catch this, like, surface group not on the shelf. There's some deeper waters. Finding mysterious, we find ourselves back in Cold War. I think, yeah, again... I think I mentioned this earlier in the stream, but the the fall of the Soviet Union to the invasion of Ukraine, that 30-year period will be viewed as a very weird period in history. Uh, there generally weren't any near-peer competitors to the United States or her allies in that time frame. Besides, you know, like Russia with nukes. But that has since gone away. And I think we're we're... We're just back in the normal normal stages of history here, I think. I think that the post-Cold War era will be an anomaly. Most of history has been a Cold War, if you will. There just haven't been nukes. People have always been building up militaries, and there have always been tensions. But, uh... Cold War is better than Hot War. I think some people think that there's an option for neither Cold War nor Hot War, but I don't think that's how that works. Cold War is better than Hot War. All right, new sonar contact 238. Yes, if you have a Cold War and a bunch of money to dump in defense, you can get to the moon in 1969. If you don't, it takes about 50 years to get to that point. <laughs> a lot of potential that got wasted. You're talking like Seawolf and F-22 and stuff like that, etc., etc. Weapons development. No duck, no air. Oh, okay. Not great. But let's uh let's get these Mark 16s in here. Uh oh, we'll say 25 kilo yards. On sonar, new contact bearing two zero zero designated Sierra one. Con sonar, new contact bearing two three eight designated Sierra two. Con sonar, Sierra two is classified as escort. You think Ukraine will win? No, 
No, this is fine. This is fine to discuss. When I... In my Discord, when I say, like, no politics and such, I don't want people, like, sparring over political candidates and just, like, yelling at each other. This is the kind of stuff we can talk about. I want Ukraine to win. Whether they will win is another question. Because at a certain point, you do start running out of people. <laughs> as grim as that may be. I'm laughing because it's such, like, a horrible thing to say. But... Russia does have an advantage in manpower. The reason I want Ukraine to win is because I don't like a bully, and Russia's basically being a bully. And I understand, like, I'm really talking about, like, Putin and his cronies. Like, I used to study Russian. I have an appreciation for Russian culture. I don't like seeing where Russia has gotten to as a country. It is understandable given what has happened to Russia in the past. It's just... It's a it's a crappy situation, and I wish it did not exist, but I do want Ukraine to win. Because they don't deserve to just be invaded on the whim of an autocrat. Sonar, Sierra 3, is classified as merchant. <clears throat> Poutine dying of cancer. Ah, who knows. Even if Russia wins, they still lose. That is an important point. And again, I hate, when I say Russia, it's like an oversimplification. I really mean like Putin and the, the leadership. Oh, I was gonna say, why is this one all the way down there? Just a, uh, a weird um, glitch at the beginning before the solutions firmed up. Almost a return to a Politburo. I think the Soviet Union was more rules-based than Russia is right now. Ironically. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the case or not. Ever been to Russian Gourmet in Rockville? I have not. There was another Russian restaurant in DC that I never never had the chance to visit. I always wanted to go there one day and see Alexander Ovechkin, the famous Russian hockey player who plays for the Washington Capitals, but <laughs> never did. One second. Hey guys, I will be right back. I'm gonna stuff my face with some food. All right, I'm back, and I can see the conversation has moved to nuke in Japan. <laughs> Yes, nuking Japan is complicated, war is messy, sometimes uh, things have to be said in a, or communicated in a, a broad, messy brush. The factors that actually like made Japan surrender are actually rather complicated, because I think some of the military was actually going to try and stage a coup against the emperor if he if he surrendered or when he surrendered.
All right, we got a cash and we got a Catlin. Not a. Well, we got RBU six thousand. That's always nice. So we should try and bias ourselves to this Catlin here. Come left to one three. Oh, the fiance nine, made me I. made some pot stickers. Very very nice of her. Pulled me over till dinner. I'm usually trying to eat before these Friday streams. Ambient noise ninety. Okay. A little deeper so we can boogie-woogie zero, zero, here. <clears throat> Thought the cat dropped another stinky turd. No. <laughs> I was smelling some some something frying, and the the fiance was heating up pot stickers. I was like, "Oh yes, I am hungry. I need to shove some food down my gullet." But that was just a uh, something to hold me over. Still got some leftovers to heat up here. Make turns for one zero. We'll try and not bias ourselves to the Kotlin here because we're almost in freaking RBU range of this caution. But we should be able to like slink by both of these escorts, but we're gonna kick it up to. Just need to avoid cavitating. Baited. All right, well these guys aren't going anywhere. We're gonna get deep enough and push the stops up a bit here. We gotta translate now. And we got lucky there. <laughs> it's so noisy out here that. I don't think we got heard, but that was, uh, that was sloppy. Make depth four, five, zero feet, die by. The cat ordered a pepperoni. A pepperoni pizza? The vertical launch the missiles to make this a short, a short missing. <laughs> It would also make it not 1968. But yeah, just these two little somewhat dinky escorts here. Yeah, just unload a full salvo of tasms. Probably be pretty good. Make turns for two zero knots. Maneuvering eye. He's closing in on us there, but I think we'll be good. Ooh, it's actually stopped down. Slowed down a lot. Listen in there. Be a little, a little cautious. Okay, let's... Yeah. Yeah, let's come on in here. Make turns for one, zero... Maneuvering eye. Okay, we are threading this needle. Good. Without this active sonar nerf, and I would have been picked up eons ago. Bunch of crap. But we're uh, we're coming in good. We should be able to like one, two, three. These dudes right in the face. I firm up that solution on CR5 there. Zero feet, die by. When this, this sub hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. <laughs> I, I forgot that line was in the movie when I did Back to the Future on, on the Atomic Age, and that I got a legitimate laugh out of me. That was great. Incompetence of service and airborne ASW cannot be overstated. <laughs> yeah, how do you think, like, in, in, in all those exercises, the submarines get, like, periscope shots of the carriers up close? Because it's, it's freaking hard to find submarines. A 
A story I'll probably never be able to tell. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, let's slow down. Let's not cavitate here. I don't think I will. Oh, why are we not firming up Sierra 5? Turn to starboard? I'll help. Turn to port. Right, there you go. Alright, we got some solutions. To let him get in real close. Real close. Oh, this is great, dude. We're going right up the barrel here. I'm just gonna haul ass to the south, southwest, and egress soonest. I thought it was raining for some reason. Maybe they're coming out of the fog. It's cool looking. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, now we need to wait for CR4 to firm back up. Dude turned. Good optics. Come on, Sierra 4. What's going on? Honestly, I don't need to sink Sierra 4. Two out of three would be fine, but I would like to sink Sierra 4. <laughs> yeah, yeah, area denial. Is it worth the headache of going through where all that surface and airborne crap is pinging away and such? It's like, they might find you. They generally don't, but they might. That's another good point. Tycosis brings up, you know, no one's actually gonna die in these exercises slash the, the point of the exercise. Bit of a, I don't know what the right word I'm looking for is. There is a, not a bias, but a, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Okay, ooh, close aboard. All right, we're ready to shoot. Very close aboard, goodness gracious. All right. Uh, let's shoot on furthest things first, I guess, for some reason. Okay, let's take a shot. Do it. Shoot two, three. Aye, sir. I don't know why I shot a starboard tube. There we go. Shoot two, four. Aye, sir. Con sonar, Sierra let's six is classified. Get the as heck out of here. Make turns for one con sonar. We are oh, cavitating. I'll do that, please. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Oh, that's about to be a kaboom right there. Make turns for one. Five knots. Maneuvering eye. Con sonar lost contact. Oh, oh yeah. Four. Oh, not yet. Make not 20 knots yet. One, five knots. Maneuvering eye. I actually don't even know if I need to go 20 knots. Con I might just make them hear me. Contact. Sierra two. Last bearing. Zero, zero, five. Contact faded. Con 
Boom. Sierra, three, last bearing, two, nine, four, contact breaking up. Oh, this one's going to be close. This one's going to be close. Oh, I think we got it. Uh, oh, it's going to be close. I think we got it. Right by the chin. Hey. All right. Last bearing, one, eight, seven, contact breaking up. Okay, well, they, they can't hear crap, so I should probably kick it up. Get the heck out of here. Medium children in a playground. <laughs> Thank you, Tycos. It's much appreciated. <laughs> Make turns for two, six knots. Maneuvering eye. Con, torpedo room, two, three, ready. <laughs> uh, Con helm, steady course. Take their lunch money. <laughs> A milk carton. Man, they all sank quick. Mark 16's got a big warhead. <laughs> Let's make sure we don't actually like crash into a sinking boat. That would be hilarious. Where's that other guy? Sierra two. Reestablish him. Probably not. May still be in the baffles. Let's not lose one, him in the baffles here. Helm, I. Probably gonna start slowing down when he reaches these datums. I can probably go 20 knots at this point. Eight turns for two zero knots. Maneuvering I. Con maneuvering, making turns for two zero knots. How'd you go back to where your buddies got sunk? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, I yeah. I'm not sure what the logic in the game is. Go to the datum point. Sims will never have it right because they never have the full info. Console and there's always like that. Sierra, one, last what I like three, to call the video three, game effect, two, where like in, the in dangerous waters, if you're in a mission, or like in cold waters, like everyone's at like 100% readiness and battle stations all the time when that it doesn't work that way in real life. Like the response times in video games are generally way too quick. That's why if you see like breakdowns of like real life battles, you're wondering, you may wonder why it takes so long for like the enemy to muster. It's like because they're not at full alert. Full alert's exhausting and takes resources and such. Or why like ships get caught off guard and get hit with missiles randomly. Let's take a listen. Is anyone Come left. following us? Me. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Con sonar rigging. I don't think so. Sierra seven. Turns four, five, nine. Okay. Con sonar. Oh, it's just buggy. This mission's done. We did it. Four, two, six, oh, I hit W nine. at some point. Maneuvering.
Con sonar lock on helm. Steady course. Oh, there we go. We're just just left. All right. Cool. Hey, great work. Congratulations. It's all pat ourselves on the back. <laughs> Oh my god, worthy of an award. Hey, I got an award for beating up children on a playground. Extraordinary heroism in stealing that lunch money. Oh yeah, once you start adding in crew fatigue and random equipment failure, then it's like... It gets very complicated. If you're not like on top of that stuff, it will like compound and you will fail the game very quickly. <laughs> and then you like... And it's like real life at that point, you know, you're just managing, like, tactics are just like one small part of being an officer or whatever. Kami lunch money. <laughs> Norway defended. Return to Holly Lock for repairs. Will do. Next time. Status report. I'm surprised they gave me the rearm already. Maybe just one category of weapon needs to get beneath a certain point. Still have 11, 11 weapons. Continue on course. All right, we will save it right there. Minus 10 points for accidentally emailing all. Or then replying to the email to all. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys for watching. That'll be it for today. Pretty good stream. Uh, very good time chatting with you guys. That with that diesel encounter probably could have gone a little better, but maybe that's me being hard on myself. But that surface encounter, that was great. That was good. All right. See you guys next time. Have a good one. And as always, good hunting.